and and it's I, at the end of the day, I still don't know what happened to my daughter. I just know that it wasn't while she was in my care, but I don't know what happened. You know, that's hard enough. Number one, you never tell me this whole factory. It's impossible. And I've had to come up with thousands of dollars that I don't have, and I lost my job. So that's probably the second hardest part of this whole thing. And so whatever happened to led all this, it, it was some sort of accident, you don't know where... Or, or we don't even know what this. day it was, who she was with. Really? We don't, she's seen so many doctors, and every doctor has a different theory of when it happened, what, but she was back and forth between her father and I on a daily basis, so we don't even know whose home she was at when the accident occurred. But they decided to put it on me because I had her for the most part that, that particular day that I took her to the hospital that I was the one that found the lung, and I was the one who took her to the hospital, so it had to be while she was in my care. So you found that and you took her to the hospital absolutely. and then that's, everything came from, from there? Yeah. I thought, I thought it was a side effect because she had gotten shots that morning, so I thought it was a side effect from her shots. And oh, really? So I took her right to the hospital and they were like, no, this is definitely not from that. And they did x-rays and said that it was a fracture. And just like a small kind of like hairline. How, how's she it doing? Oh, oh she's, she's, she's completely healed. She was healed um, not long after that. You could even that day, you couldn't even tell anything was wrong with her. She's the happiest baby in the world. Most common percent of these cases that present going under that.